But Moe, I want to ask you a question. Yep. Do you favour corporal punishment for theft? Like chop someone's hand off? For theft? What kind of theft are we talking about? Uh, call it a car. Let's go with that. Yes. Oh, there you go. Oh, 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 okay. All right. Chop their hands off. All right. That, that didn't work because they're only going to say 88% of right, at, Pakistan sorry, would say yes, chop the, their hands off. At the same time, though, um, when... Sorry, I, I want to go back to it. So theft for stealing a car. So... Hands. When it goes just back, one. when you when you go back to yeah hands just one yeah. All right, what about a finger? When, when it goes back to uh, Sharia law, it takes the person's um, uh, position into consideration. Are they a poor person stealing a loaf of bread? You don't chop their hand off. Cut. If it, if it's a person running like a a ring of illegal cars, stealing cars and and selling them, sure. This is this is debated in uh, Sharia law. In che- cheat on cheat on your wife, stone him to death. Uh, I don't believe that's actually a law in Sharia law. Still, 89% of the quarter quarter billion people living in Pakistan would yeah. support that. There's and that's where individuals such as you yeah. have morality, but yeah. groups are sheer force, yeah. political force, physical force or another. Yeah. If you want to leave Islam, we're looking at Egypt, 86%. Mm-hmm. We'd say, off with the head. Palestinian territories. That's why we look at somewhere like Gaza and say when it's 89% there, when that number is 89% of the people living in the Palestinian territories would support uh, death for apostasy. Well, okay, well, let, let's take a moment. That's 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 a big deal. Yep. So you may not support death for apostasy. I don't know. Um, no, if it's true, I'd support it. I'm not watering down my religion. But again, when it comes to capital punishment... But you support um, death a, for leaving Islam? Whatever, the, whatever Sharia law says it is, I support it 100%. So, Mo, that's, how do you? That's, that's my religion, but that's not <clears throat> being implemented in Australia. If it, if there was an Islamic proper country, a caliphate, which doesn't exist today, yeah, I'd have to support it as a Muslim. But would you okay, want it so... as Australian law? What's that? Would you want that as no. Australian law? No, okay, no, definitely not. I'm see, I've got this dual loyalty. I'm Australian. Out of God's wisdom, I'm born in Australia. I've got that loyalty to Australia. I'm a minority. Muslims are what, 0.5%, if that. So I wouldn't want to impose what my religion beliefs are onto the, we- onto the rest. It makes no sense to do that. It's disrespectful. We have our own way of life, and I'd want that for my own people back in our home countries. And I'd say today, there is no proper Islamic country today. They, all, they take Sharia law and they over-apply it on a certain group. They don't apply it correctly. These capital punishments our religion have, um, there's a whole court uh, process it has to go through. Example, adultery. Adultery has to be witnessed by like three or four people. And uh, a witness from a woman, it, you need double the witnesses. Doesn't hear. You know? It doesn't no. have to be witnessed by anyone here. Yeah. <laughs> you can just... In, in what scenario... Any sort of sexual crime yeah. here could just be like... And put yeah, it on only Someone just hands. says, you gotta, I'm being facetious. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. That's all right. In, in what scenario where so, three people are going to witness adultery, go to a court and give in their statement, you have to do it out in public to get three witnesses. I was going to say, what are they who, stoning, What are they doing looking? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to, get, to get the stoning of death, whatever the punishment, it's actually 80 lashes, not the stoning of death... Um, that was the prophet applying a law from the Jewish text at the time. Um, I'm not going to, you know, uh, back that. I have to go back to the scholars, but I know it's the 80 lashes. It's, it's lashing. So um, you have to get three witnesses, which it, it won't happen. You have to be doing sex in public. So it's more of a deterrent. That's why the capital punishment is there. Because yeah. if you had people having sex in public, I mean, it's... Well, what you've got is a system bad. of law, in Sharia law, that's evolved from a culture and a religion, right? And that's appropriate in countries that have that culture and that religion. Yeah, the UAE have, a, have it there as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and our culture, and, you know, this is where it gets... You've got to look at religion as the yeah. basis, or we can't say Australia is not a Christian country. It right? is. It might be secular now because people don't practice. Uh, the reality is that the law... Our law comes from a Christian and ultimately Judeo-Christian background, but with Christian overlay, right? Oh. Um, the, the the concept of forgiveness uh, is a Christian, very much a Christian concept because it's not, it wasn't present uh, as much in yeah, uh, the, 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 the Torah. Yeah, so, you know, it was Jesus that came along and said, well, actually, no, we're going to do, we're going to do forgiveness. We're going to do redemption. We're going to do all this stuff. It took it to a different level. Mm. And our our laws, and not not 
uh, I mean, you, you know, in a, as I said, in a yeah. Muslim country, it's yeah. it's a it's Muslim uh, laws, and that's Sharia, how it should be. But Sharia law tells us to respect the the laws of the country we're going to live in. So, I mean, that's I like that's that important. as long as they're a minority, uh, but, or yeah, I mean, that's because right. you're saying that's right. You were saying as long as you're a minority, but if you're a majority of some areas, uh, I don't know how that will happen. Rotherham, Luton, are these areas where you where, where that becomes a no, majority it's culture? The, the the country. So the country's uh, laws. Uh, we're not. I'm not advocating for any kind of, um, you know, conquering. No. Have this that, is the problem, Chris. Right? It's you know, not happening. It's that. It's that same um, issue. I think that was uh, was it um, uh, Sam Harris on that original. You ever see that clip of Sam Harris and Ben, ben the Ben Affleck? Ben Ben Affleck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and it was like. Sam's sort of saying, you know, and that that you've got these concentric circles of different levels of of acceptance of 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 like you know immigrants like well not you're not an immigrant, you're born yeah. here, but but your so, parents or your yeah. family and your yeah. way of looking at it, right? Uh, that you know, yes, we practice our religion here, but we you know we we understand we're living in a Christian country, so we respect the Christian based laws uh, and the evolution of, of the British legal system. Yep. Um, but how do you, you know, how do you but then you have other different groups, uh, like you know the, the the extremist Islamist Pakistanis in in the UK, I guess, or the I don't know it's much more, about it's it. More so it's more tradition. It's more tradition than religion. It's more tradition overriding religion. And is it right? It's you got to admit these people are brought up in a certain you know mindset, hive mind, and you bring that here, it's going to create a mess. How is it here? Like as a Muslim Aussie, I love it. No, no. I mean, as a Muslim Aussie looking at the Muslim community in Australia, yep. do you see those concentric circles, those different groups, or do you? No. I, what do you reckon? Everyone, like, there's no in my circle in, in Western Sydney, no one has that you know extremist mindset. You know, Islam is very compatible with the Australian values, like that statement. We've got no problem with that. But I've heard some pretty rough stuff coming out of uh, yeah. some of the imams, and and. Uh, I mean, when it comes to politics back at home, yeah. Um, it no, no, here, get, here. Uh, are, people, are people cry for jihad? Are people desire jihad? Are people die for jihad? That's Auburn, the Auburn Islamic Center. Yeah, the, jihad just means struggle. Mm. Uh, jihad, just, I've got an internal struggle. Um, me abiding by you know, not doing adultery, not committing um, sin is a form of struggle. Not sleeping around is a form of jihad. It's an internal jihad. So the word jihad just means struggle. So again, we have people that are not... Um, Arabic speaking or not Muslim or have never studied our religion from the you know from the beginning, take these uh, words and make it look like jihad means to kill. It, it not necessarily no. It just means to struggle. Can I, can I just say, Maui, and I respect this about Islam that you guys have a huge respect and almost a chain of command when it comes to spirituality with regards yeah. to those of the Muslim faith in the different yeah. levels. And yeah. I I totally respect you're not in any position yeah. to actually talk on the on the faith. But yeah. at some point, just like with the female topic, I will be getting some actual imams that come yeah. in with some some of the opposite side. Yeah. Sorry, reason... no, I probably threw a question at you there. No, no, a bit, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to I want to keep going down that for a second because yeah. I think there's something important here and the whole reason why I wanted to get a diverse panel religiously but also ethnically is because we've got to f- work this out because if we don't work this out we're going to look like the UK. The UK. And tribalism is going to take over and you're not know the worst part out of all of it. There are people like Tommy Robinson, like Major Nawaz on the opposite sides and they're not talking to each other mm. and they they were on the same side when it came to the, the covid stuff the vaccine stuff but now they're they're like at opposite sides of this are they mm-hmm. but yeah they are and they're not that, and actually. they're not talking and so when i see that i'm like i'm very protective of what we have here and 